Hello everybody, I hope that you're all doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I am going to be going through this beautiful chart right here on Bitcoin. I'm not going to, not going to lie, I am in love with it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm going to be going through the Bitcoin chart, how I've been trading this over the last 24 hours and how I am looking to trade this into the next. <laughs> um, so yeah, hope that you thoroughly enjoy this video and yeah, can take something educationally from it as well as the analysis. Um, so yeah, hope that you enjoy. Uh, let's, get, let's get into, firstly, I want to cover the sentiment of the market because for me the sentiment is actually a really key metric alongside technical analysis so technicals and sentiment really big parts of trading um because it's, it's the same across all markets and i've been trading eight coming on nine years now and let me tell you this it's the same on every market so um yeah it is this literally the same across all, all markets and you've heard the famous expressions etc um, but yeah, there was extreme panic coming into the market this morning. Uh, you know, people start releasing their 1K Bitcoin charts. People start saying, oh, the futures gap needs to be filled, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Crazy talk as you're coming on to one of the biggest support levels in this chart. OK, this is the 382 Fibonacci level. This is one that I've been waiting for. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, it's just just uh, a sentiment of, you know, everybody starts to turn bearish as you're on the support level. It's like mm, just as everybody was at extreme extreme greed at resistance uh literally last week we we're on a 95 uh greed reading which is extreme greed and then everybody starts today's turning bearish as you're on support it's just like sentiment is a key metric in this market and as i tweeted out this morning just as everybody is starting to turn bearish on bitcoin uh we will witness a big green candle remember we are still in a weekly uptrend eg we are coming on to support why is everybody turning bearish and um yeah obviously we 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 saw that big green candle and not just one not just one green candle off the 382 but two there we go one retracement two lovely lower wick there by the way as well um so yeah you know, if, if you did turn bearish on support, don't beat yourself up. Just learn from it. Um, you know, everybody makes mistakes. Everybody needs to progress and make those mistakes to move forwards and learn. So don't beat yourself up. Just just take something from it. And uh, yeah, find, an, find a mentor. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> um, but yeah, obviously today, group killing it as normal, like seen. I love it in it. This this is a comment I must read out because it's it's typical. Um, you know, when you kind of don't know what you're doing or, or you're you're reading Twitter posts and the majority are wrong, let's be honest. Um, so you have to like love it <laughs> in here. We're all learning or I'm teaching them <laughs> and they're all learning of how to be patient and calm. As everybody turns bearish and panic sells, we will be composed composed and buying. Uh, yes, sir, we are. <laughs> so, yeah, that was just a uh, another thing. Yeah, seeing that for the 382 bounce. And now I want to go over another key reason why we bounced here okay so for me the 382 really really important support but let me bring your attention to this four hour exponential moving average the 200 you can see how this has been supported um several times several times over the last one over just over the last month or so you can see 200 ema bounce 200 ema bounce 200 ema bounce so we can clearly say this is going to be a key support uh when it's retested again after such an upwards movement yeah you can definitely expect this 200 ema to be acting as support so it's like you had a mixture of confluences here okay you had the 382 the 200 ema this order block right here on the four hour okay you also had the 786 extension so there was like th four really big factors coming together there for a support level so it's just not one that you want to uh, pass up on, I guess. Um, yeah, again, don't beat yourself up if you did. You know, just just be aware now of what things to look for. Um, so yeah, that was obviously a very nice bounce, and I'm not saying that we're out of the woods yet. <laughs> don't get me don't get me wrong. I'm not um, saying this is this trend has changed because at the moment on the lower term time frames we're obviously still downtrending. So let's zoom in here and see where we are finding resistance right now. Okay, so I'm still seeing resistance on this 55 exponential moving average. You can just see the rejection very nicely there. OK, horizontals. Well, yeah, for, well, for me, really, I'm looking at the middle of this parallel for our next level if we get above this one hour EMA. OK, so obviously we've had the bear cross. So the bear cross here on the EMAs. Um, so yeah, it's, it's not like we're out of the woods yet. I'm not saying we might not come down. I'm just saying, yeah, be aware of the supports that we had down here. OK, and now be aware of the resistance that we're seeing it. You know, really take it one step at a time. You can see really this is a strong area of resistance mid a parallel. All of this old structure now to get through too. Um, so, you know, what I personally would like to see for a bullish scenario is that we hold the bottom of this parallel now, 10,300, and, uh, yeah, then begin to, con you know, try and find some, uh, a buildup of, of strength here to then increase for the, for the next leg up, okay? If we actually lose this parallel, uh, then, yeah, maybe I'll be looking down for lower targets. I like to take it just one step at a time, not go, uh, massively into the future when there's this much extreme, like, volatility in this sort of market. 
you know, it's, you're much better off just being patient, taking it one step at a time, and uh, yeah, making those trades. Uh, Algo was another one. Uh, I will mention some alts really, really br No, actually, I'll save alts for a minute. I just noticed Algo here, and this was some real nice trading today, not going to lie. Along with Walton Chain. Algo and Walton Chain. Perfect. Uh, I'll cover those in a minute. Uh, let me just finish. Um, what did I want to also cover? Um, oh, yeah. So this was another bit of sentiment about uh, when we were as we were running into this resistance. As you all know, this was running into the golden pocket of resistance. Massive. Um, and you can just see on that extreme, extreme greed that you are seeing. And it's like when everybody is extremely greedy at resistance, <laughs> as, I, as I said here, um, Honestly, if you deserve these profits, make sure you lock them in. And this is why I'm always like saying, take profits because nothing just goes up forever and nothing goes down forever. You know, taking profits is really key. And obviously you'd be very grateful, very happy taking profits are there. Uh, when you see running into resistance, the biggest on the chart right there, uh, on the uh, extreme greed, it's like, it's probably going to get pulled back. But uh, yeah, as I always say, nothing's guaranteed. I'm not saying I have a crystal ball or anything of the such. I always, you know, I fully acknowledge this is all about probabilities and having a trading edge and uh, trading with that edge, really. If we're being honest, it's all about probabilities. Um, so, yeah, that was obviously most probable to get a retracement there. But, of course, no guarantee. Um, <clears throat> anyway, what was I going to mention here? Um... Oh, yeah. So this was a post I made. Oh, so, oh, so this was actually right in the time uh, saying that we are testing that four hour exponential moving average, which has been excellent support in the past. And on top of that, we also had those low term time frames, bullish divergences. So that was obviously expecting, you know, you, you see these factors coming together. You one would expect a bounce. And obviously we got a bounce. So <laughs> e.g. keep an eye on my <laughs> what I say on Twitter uh, because that can give you some helpful signs, I guess. Um, so, yeah, let me move on to two altcoins. I'm going to go over here. Um, Algo and I'll cover Walton Chain, my baby, <laughs> my baby. Um, so Algo, uh, this was obviously originally trading inside of this parallel channel, had a flush break to the downside, and I literally market bought as we were breaking through this support, bought it uh, one, uh, bought this at about nine five zero nine five, sold it for one fourteen, and this is like a one point six percent scalp. Uh, but that's literally like as everybody starts to market sell. <clears throat> Uh, obviously, you get a massive 15% move to the downside, over 15% in the end on the lower wicks. I literally uh, just bought as we lost support, sold as it retested this, and that was like a quick flip. Uh, my, my baby Walton Chain. <laughs> so, uh, obviously, I like always, <clears throat> I'm really saying what I'm trading in the day of my group. And Walton Chain was one of mine. Walton Chain has been one of mine since we broke a, a, above 2.7. Like, as my as my group will <laughs> back me up, this has been my baby. I love Walton Chain. When I see this, so much panic. When I see such a flush break to the downside, well, get ready for as everybody is fearful be greedy and when everyone is greedy be fearful um yeah walton chain was definitely my bag for making the most of that extreme fear as we saw that stark sell-off stark sell-off i'm telling you okay and then obviously from the bottom there up you're sort of getting about 60 percent in in less than a week so um yeah i didn't get in on the exact bottom but you know taking up that uh sr flip that we obviously saw uh, we're gonna have to go back too far in the chart but that's an sr flip right, right there and i've had that marked out for a very long time one two seventeen. look at that reaction um again now you're in the middle of the range but you have to look left there's not really much resistance up here until 199 uh 1919 uh but obviously you are you know people take profits and you're going to have higher term time frame resistances uh, but on the low term time frame here you can see you're in the me region of nowhere right now <laughs> as i'm saying this we're obviously seeing a rejection but we saw that rejection again today uh come straight back on to that sr flip right here and again literally uh two hours Let's just say the exact percentage that went up. 17%, two hours, not bad at all. Um, so yeah, Walton Chain, my my uh, day trader right there. Very nice. And um, yeah, leave you with our last few words on Bitcoin. Uh, keep your eye on that resistance. Really, let's keep our eye first on this one hour EMA, then that top of the... Um, top of the uh, the channel right here. Okay, channel. And then obviously, if you break down, look for 10,300 as support. You lose that. And you'll back outside of that parallel. So that would be um, not the end of the day, not the end of the day, but obviously not a, a, a scenario I'd really want to see from a bullish perspective. But as a day trader, I really don't care if this goes up or down. <laughs> but uh, yeah, for uh, for a neutral sort of perspective, I guess uh, it would be best if it, if, well, actually, I don't know. It wouldn't really make any difference if it went up or down because lower, the more it goes down, the more I can fill bids. Uh, the higher it goes up, you know, you can trade this to the upside and just trade this range. I think that's the best. Um, non-financial advice i can give this range is a really really nice range you can see how it's being respected and uh yeah so keep your eye on this again um so yeah i thoroughly hope that you have enjoyed this video um 
if you have, I would appreciate a like, uh, as always. A like uh, goes a long way for me uh, as a content creator, as uh, someone's passionate for this space. Uh, yeah, yeah, like, would be amazing if you would, if you want. If you don't want to give me a like, then give me a dislike. <laughs> don't, don't really mind too much. Um, but yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed it. And um, yeah, as always, uh, thank you so much, honestly, for joining me. Thank you again for everybody for the support. It means a lot to me. Um, you know, I, I'm really, really into like helping people. Um, just I love trading, love, I have a passion for trading and I have a passion for helping people and like this space, YouTube, Twitter, etc. Um, obviously now I've got my own trading community. That's amazing. And it's just like, I feel so, so happy and just amazing. So yeah, thank you again, honestly, from the bottom of my heart. I uh, hope you have an amazing day. Please have a great day. Um, don't over trade this. If, if you want some clarity, then just have a little bit of patience. Okay. You don't need to rush into trades all the time. Um, you know, very, very, very little amount of traders, not even include excluding myself. You know, I don't aim to buy exact bottoms. I don't aim to buy exact tops uh, or sell exact tops. You know, as long as you get to meet in the middle of the move, you'll be more than happy and more than content with the money so um yeah if you, if you want some clarity just have some patience and um yeah if you if you have found yourself losing money over these last few weeks then i advise um seeking help maybe uh if you know try and find a financial advisor or something like this uh, a mentor etc because it hasn't been too difficult to trade if i'm honest so um yeah enough of that i hope that you are again <laughs> oh i always go on at the end of these videos and now i look now i look silly uh, so i'm just gonna say i hope that you're very well <laughs> enjoy trading this and i will catch you in the next video <laughs> thank you so much everybody and cheers good night <laughs> or good morning okay bye <laughs>